I got a piece of paper towel in my left hand. I'm gonna show you the layers one by one, just like on our um, chart here. So the first one is support. That's my canvas here. My next one, if I wanted to tone the surface, I could use water, but if I was really being um, precise and, and perfect in archival, I would use uh, like a gloss medium or a matte medium instead of water. I'm gonna make the paint really, really runny. See how much water I have there, you know, and my paint. I don't want it to be too, too watery, but I wanna make sure that it's not um, too thick and goopy. I want it to be able to flow. And then I could just tone my surface. See how see-through that is? That's how I tone my surface. Nice watery paint, and then let that dry before you paint on top of it. So if I'm just starting with my darkest darks, I'm gonna mix a black with that burnt umber and that ultramarine blue. And I paint it down, and it's thin. It might even have some watery bits in it. Slight water on the brush, but not a lot. It's not as watery as that layer there. And in fact, this I still might have had too much water on my brush. I might just thicken that up a smidge more. Okay. And at this point, you know, if I'm just laying down a, a brush stroke to show you, I'm standing, I'm holding this halfway, but really if I'm, if I'm trying to um, start a painting, I'm even holding it like this. That's how I usually hold my brush. So it's like I'm grabbing it underhanded, okay? And I'll just kind of go in and say, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, paint that, that cup. I kind of do this sort of thing. Figure out, okay, how wide, how tall, and then kind of go from there. Paint everything around it and just do this. I'm, this is called scrumbling. Just rubbing the paint in and around. It's nice and messy. But over top of that, I could make it that into a, a perfect, beautiful glass of water. But it just helps me see the design, see the forest for the trees. Now we're gonna go to the second layer. Now I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna wipe off any water on my paper towel. So after I clean it, I squeeze it, the bristles, between my two fingers that are wrapped in the paper towel. So just make a paper towel sandwich and wipe off the water because now I just want paint. You can see how this was a little see-through. I'm gonna take this same color. Again, it's the black, which is brown and blue mixed together. And see how now the value changes. It looks darker than it did here because there's no water to separate the pigments and make it more see-through. All right, it's still thin. It doesn't have any thick, chunky bits of paint yet because it's just the next layer above. I wanna save those chunky bits of paint for that top layer. So right now, this is the first layer. If I'm gonna do another layer of paint over top of that, same thing, I wanna make sure the paint is nice and dry. Wipe it off. But maybe now it's a little bit thicker. You know, I can just keep getting thicker and thicker. But once I start to get to a point where I really want to make thick paint, scooped up paint on my brush, Whereas before, I was kind of pushing, wiggling my brush so that it was really loaded inside, but then wiping off any thick, goopy areas on the outside of the brush. Now, when I'm starting to use thicker paint, this is where I can scoop it up and have thick, goopy paint. And just, I have to now hold my brush more parallel to the canvas and just lay it down. And it might crackle in places. If you want a really thick, bright highlight somewhere, use that palette knife, make sure it's clean. Clean it off. Okay. Go to the edge of, say, the white, if you want a white line. Okay, I'll go to the edge of the paint. So I'll drag through that line just to get that one bead. Now, even if this paint is wet, I can just press it to the canvas and I get a perfect line. That's actually easier to do than to try and draw it with a brush. Because what happens when you draw it with a brush is this. If you're like me and you wiggle. Also, depending on my pressure, some of that line is going to be thicker or thinner than others. It's harder to draw a line with a brush than it is with a palette knife. 